Well, they closed, they locked the door. I mean, that's it. Uh, we tried. I can't believe she didn't show up. We've got to find her. I mean, we always do. I've been in love with two guys, but it's the same guy. I don't understand. My name is Miranda, I'm 21, and I live in a small town called Awatana, Minnesota. Wait, we're in Minnesota now. I've been in love with a man named Cameron since 2011, whom I've never met. It's almost like you made for me. Something says it's meant to be. Our nightly ritual was to always talk on the phone before bed. Not only am I in love with the person on the other end of the phone, but he is my very best friend. You're my dream come true. I was never really that suspicious until I was in the town he supposedly lives in, in California. Cameron had a string of lies and excuses. Mm. His web camera was broken and he couldn't meet because he had family emergencies or his car broke down. Right, we've heard all that yeah. before. I confronted him and eventually he came clean. He told me his real name was James and that he actually lives in Atlanta. I know that James lied to me and he could very well still be lying. I do not know where I would be without him in my life. I will never fully know the truth or fully trust him again unless he shows himself completely to me. And even Max, can you help me please? Miranda. Wow. So this girl's been in a relationship she, for three years with this guy. Loves him. On the phone like, and reals. text. She caught him. If you lie a second time, Just right right back at it. Miranda, here she is. Hi. Huh? Yeah. What's going on? Hey, Miranda. Tell us about Cameron. Yeah, like how quickly did you and Cameron sort of start talking? Like instantaneously. <laughs> He's really caring, he listens, he's compassionate. So when we even first started talking, like I didn't even want a relationship. But you've never video chatted with him? No, I literally just wanted someone to listen and to, to be there. Have you guys tried to meet up? I've asked him a few times and He's just kind of denied, just dumb excuses. I was talking to him until Catfish first premiered and I watched how you guys looked up pictures. And one night I found a picture that was from a club and he was tagged as a different guy. So then I tried to interrogate him and question him for a while, um, and he just kind of kept throwing a lot of BS at, to me, and, and we um, didn't talk for a while. I ended up talking to him again after a few months. I just needed to confide in somebody. And when you started talking again, did you ask him to send you a picture of who he really is? Yes, I did. He finally admitted that his name was actually James and that he's from Georgia. Yes. Is he cute? Are you attracted to him? Yeah, he's super cute. Why haven't you guys video chatted? I'm kind of scared. Like, I'm just scared to face the fact that what happens if it's not him? Would you say you love James? Yes. I love him. But I can't believe him until I physically see him. And I don't think that without you guys' help, I would be able to see him. Hang tight. We're gonna come and meet you in Minnesota. Thank you, guys. So nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh wow, cool. Oh my goodness. How are you? How are you holding up? Freaking out. So, I tried calling James this morning just to figure out where we're gonna meet. Uh, he didn't pick up. I left a message. Did you think that he might? Fail? No. Well, I guess it was a possibility, but I didn't think of that part. Well, let's give him a minute and just see if he responds. Oh, man. But we could go on oh, Whoa. two, double, a Whoa. triple, oh boy, quadruple. See, I don't, can't even say it. I don't even know what comes okay, out of Okay, he was just writing an essay. First off, thank you for your consideration, Neve. I'm a very thoughtful person more often than not. I know it's wrong to deceive someone you truly love, and I'd love to meet her today, but my family is preventing me. As much as I explained and pleaded with them, 
They won't let me. This has been an ongoing battle since Thursday. I just cannot do it. I can't put my home life in a situation like that. The only way I can sort of make this experience positive for both of us is if we can Skype sometime today. That's the only way, Neve. You're telling me that we flew all the way to Georgia? I'm not telling you that. To video chat with someone? That's a small victory. Yeah, yeah, no, it is, a, it is a victory. It's yeah. a small victory. Let's go down there. There's a slight hiccup. His response was, I can't meet with you guys today. What? I'd love to meet her, Neve, but there's way more to it. My family is preventing me. As much as I explained and pleaded with them, they won't let me. The only way I can sort of make this experience positive for both of us is if we can Skype sometime today. That's the only way. He pissed. I stuck up for him. No matter how much my family gave him or my friends or anybody. I'm gonna text him. Okay, we'd like to Skype with you now. Are you... Can I send that? Are you, are you okay with that? Yeah. Wow. He responded. He said, okay, give me a minute. Okay. James just said, what's your Skype name? Yeah, just, just do it. Here. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I just don't I mean, know what I'm gonna say, so if I'm silent, just talk. Okay, we'll, we'll cover if we need to. Could I just talk to you guys first? Seriously? Sure. You'll just yeah. stand over here. Just us now. Wow. Um, so your name is? Gabby. Gabby. I'm obviously a little confused, just trying to figure out uh, What's going on here? Do you want to do you want to fill me in? Sure, uh, I want to meet you guys today, but my family was totally against it, so. Uh, totally. Are Are you James? Yes, I'm James. Which means you are also Cameron. Yes. Okay, and and how old are you? Eighteen. Okay. Um. So. What do you consider you and Miranda to be? Okay. And why is your family against you meeting us in person? I imagine your interest in Miranda is more than just as friends. Would it, would it be wrong of me to assume that you're bisexual or a lesbian? Well, I'm just not know. You're not sure. Does anyone know about Miranda? Do your friends know? Why have you waited so long to tell her the truth? She might not like me the way I am. I wanted to tell her in a way that I would not lose her friendship. I think the best way to do it would be in person. I kind of think that Miranda should be the one to ask you those questions, not us. I think you should tell it to her, you know? Are you okay with that? Yes. Can you, can you hold on one second? You want to sit down and talk to her really fast? So, as you know, this is Miranda. Hi. You're very busy. 
Oh, thank you. I'm still in shock right now. One of the big questions I want to know is, like, why couldn't we do this face to face? If we can't meet face to face, then I really don't see us even being able to have a friendship. It's pretty miraculous and generous of Miranda, considering what's unfolded in the last 30 minutes, to want to give you an opportunity to explain yourself. So you should take that very seriously because um, that's not something a lot of people would be willing to do. I feel like if you want to tell somebody something and be truthful, you should probably do it face to face, like eye to eye. Exactly. Okay, well, I would like to meet you. I guess you could say you've waited for this for three years. And honestly, I feel like the least I can do is like meet you and answer every question that you have and be as honest as I can be because that's what you deserve. Okay. We'll wait to hear from you with a, a time and a place nearby somewhere tomorrow morning where we can meet up and we'll assume that once we have that information it won't change. I'll get back to you guys. I'll text you. Alright, well, we look forward to meeting you. I look forward to meeting you guys. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Gabby. There's a lot of things that girl knows. A lot. If you are left Did you and James just break up? Like what, how does it feel now in regards to the fact that you kind of had a boyfriend 20 minutes ago and now you don't? It's like I'm talking to a whole nother person. Right. But James basically just disappeared forever. Yeah. I've wasted a lot of time on this fictitious hopes on it becoming something. It's just really <sighs> disappointing to know that it Literally almost everyone around me knew. And now, what is everyone when I go back? Watching them when they watch this episode say, I told you so. Well, we got the big answer. Let's wait to see what she says about meeting up tomorrow. When we hear from her, we'll make a strategy. For the first time in the relationship, you have somewhat of an upper hand in that you finally know who you're dealing with. You can prepare yourself. You know, you're not in the dark anymore. Hello. Hey. Miranda. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. Did you hear anything last night? Yes. She texted me. Really? She said, meet at one today at a park in Hiram. Does it feel like you're still talking to James a little bit? Yeah, kind of. How do you feel towards her? I'm just really disappointed, but I feel I, not understanding, but I guess maybe a little bit, because Logan and some of my friends, well, they're gay and having to come out, so I guess maybe that was part of it. But I'm not going to make an excuse for her for the reason of why she did it, because there's no excuse. What do you think you are hoping to come away with today from all this? I want to get explanations, get some answers, and I don't know. I do not see her or another car. No what? We just continue to wait. Thing to do would be just to call again and see if he no, answers. She texts me. Oh, did she text you? Saying sorry again. Sorry for what? It says sorry, Miranda. For coming or not coming? I don't know. It's just, that's it. It's very vague. 
I would just call her. If she answers, tell her you're here and see if she's coming or not. Please leave your message. She texts me. She did? Yeah. What'd she say? She said, I really can't come. She's clearly made up her mind. I'm over it. I think we're dealing with someone whose problems are a lot deeper and harder to f solve than ours. And I think you know that, which is why you're being so adult about this. Is it okay if I like go walk for a second? Sure. someone at that time and whoever this person is they were there for you and there's nothing <sighs> wrong with that and maybe it's just time that it's it's ending so you can move on that's what it goes maybe the clouds will clear and I'll be seen <sighs> someday you ready to drive away and leave all this behind you? Yeah. Okay. What do you think you're gonna do now, Miranda? Go be a normal 21-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. I'm Palia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. You live in LA? Yes, I do. So who is your cousin? <laughs> My cousin's Palia. Palia and Alia? Yeah. Where does she live? Uh, Vegas. How old is she? 20. She's 20. And what's going on with her? She's definitely getting catfish. <laughs> Straight out the gate. <laughs> I'm positive she's getting catfish. Have you talked to her about it? Yeah. Yes. And she's like, no, he's probably just shy or... No, he's catfish. That's what it is. Who is he? His name is Jaquan. He lives in Baltimore. How long has she been talking to this person? About a year and a half. What makes you so certain he's a catfish? He was supposed to fly out to see her. Like, the day of, he just goes to her. Didn't call, didn't text anything. Uh. She's like, okay, I'll forgive you. Like, I'll come see you. She buys a ticket. She tries to fly and see him. He calls her like, no, don't come, like the day before. Oh, God. What does he do? He claims he's a model, but he never FaceTimes with her. Has your cousin seen our show? <laughs> These yes, are like <laughs> the basic telltale signs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is by the book. I don't want her to get her heart broken. Does she know? That I'm here? I told her, but she doesn't think I'm serious. Right. OK, well, you could be the one to die old. I think you should get on first. Yeah, I think you should And then start we'll it. slide in. OK. <laughs> Hi, cousin. What's up? What are you doing? I'm just chilling. What are you doing? I'm here right now with Neve and Kim. With Catfish. What? <laughs> wow. Hi. Hey. Oh my gosh. Your cousin filled us in a little bit on your situation. My cousin is crazy overprotective. <laughs> is this something that you'd want to even have us help you out with? Yeah, I'm really in love with him, but I don't want to end up hurt. All right, well, tell us about this guy. Jaquan, he's like a cute Puerto Rican guy. How did you meet Jaquan? He slid in your DMs? I slid in his. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Classes in session, subject temptation. I put like the hard eye, like, you know, you're cute. And then he put like emoji, like, you're cute. So many mornings, we start talking. Then how long have you guys been talking? For a year and a half. Ever since I met him, he's just been a change in my life. So what if I'm reckless? But he lives in Baltimore. Yes. 
he had said he was gonna come to me. And the next thing you know, his brother's in the hospital and he didn't want to talk about it. I'm not the type of person to just keep going at somebody. I really love him, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm take your word. So if I'm bad for a second, I was just like, I want to see him. You bought a ticket to Baltimore. Yeah, but when I was about to come, he's like, oh, I have family issues. He just makes up like the dumbest excuses. Well, so you know it sounds dumb. Why do you put up with it? Jaquan different. My last relationship, it was bad. He cheated on me. Being with Jaquan, it was like someone to just like be there for me. He values loyalty and we kind of value the same thing. He understands me, he's there with me, he motivates me. Together, we could really be a team. I'll just say, like, I'm a virgin. So the goal is for this to last, for us to be together for, for a long time. You got to meet this guy. Figure out who he is, at least. I feel like it probably is him. I just don't know what he's hiding. I just don't get the weird stuff that he does. And so look. You gotta come to LA then, because your cousin's already here, okay. and you and Jaquan talk about being in Los Angeles anyway. It just makes the most sense. Okay. Pack your bags, sis. Come on, cuzzo. See you soon. <laughs> well, right. well, well. She doesn't see the signs. She's standing right in front of the big ass red blinking signs, like <laughs> catfish, catfish, and she's like, what? Yeah, she she's don't got her believe it. bird box on. If he isn't who he says he is, then he's been lying to you. If he is who he says he is, and those accounts are his, he's been lying to you. He's lying either way. I'm just trying man. to like, I just want to see, I need to know. Okay, we should probably reach out to him. It's up to you. If you want, you can call him, if you want us to call him. But today is time for the ultimatum. Okay. <sighs> I just feel like I'm about to scare him by calling him. Hello? Hello? Hello. Um, so like, I'm actually uh, with Neve right now, and I'm trying to see if you're gonna like meet me. What's going on? Like, why did you even call Kansas? If I come now, you're gonna think it's only, you know, because of the show. No, I'm not. It's like now or never, so if like, if you're not gonna come, that means that we've been wasting. A long time. If you really do love me, which you should... I do. Okay, so show me. Uh, I'm scared. Why? I hope you're not disappointed. I'm one of these on my own terms. Okay, so are you gonna come? I guess. I'll text you, okay? Bye. He's annoying, like, he's like he's shy. Not, but does that seem like the Facebook account of a guy who's shy? And why on the phone did he say, I hope you're not disappointed? A lot of questions, but we'll have someone from production coordinate flight for him. And he'll have his chance. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully tomorrow is the day. Bye, Polia. We'll talk to you in the morning. I honestly don't know what to expect tomorrow. Hello, Aaliyah. Have you heard anything? He actually just texted me. He said he was here. Great. We'll come scoop you. See ya. Will today be the beginning of a beautiful relationship, or will it be a train wreck that ends in heartbreak? There's no way it's the guy in the pics. If it is, he's got a lot of explaining to do. And my biggest fear is we get there and Aaliyah does not ask him anything. She's just happy with the fact that he showed up, and she's like, OK, great. You are who you say you are. Let's let's move in. Right. No. There she is. Hey. What's up? Hi. You look super cute. Thank you. You too. Yeah, I like the sex. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. So we found a good spot. So just text him and tell him to meet us at Griffith Park. Okay. Is his Instagram still down? I tried to look for it yesterday, and I still didn't see it. Huh. There's a lot of explaining that needs to be done today. It just looks like I'm getting played. That's how I feel. All right, I think this is our spot up in here. Do you ever just, like, send pin, like a location pin? You know, yeah. So maybe send him a pin once we get up into this parking lot here. What's going to happen? <laughs> And then you gotta like calm me down. I'm trying to slow my beats down. Just breathe. We're gonna wait for 
from out there then, huh? Guys. Okay, my lips stay glossy. It's glossy, girl. Oh my gosh. A year and a half in the making. Yes. Oh, you know how your heart just started beating? You can do it, girl. Who's that guy? Feel that heartbeat again. Oh my gosh, I just know, like, it's gonna get real. It's gonna get real in a second. Why hasn't he texted you back? Right. Um, it's weird. I'm just sad. What's going on? Where are you? I mean, he told you he landed, so I guess we should just take his word for it. Neve, call him. Yeah, I better call him. Please leave your message. Hey, Jaquan, it's Neve. I'm here with Cami and Aaliyah, and we're at the park. And we've been here a little while. Let us know, hoping you'll show up soon. Okay, thanks, bye. That's so bad. I don't know, Aaliyah. Did he just get, like, cold feet or what? How long should we wait? It's already been 30 minutes. Don't just, like, ghost. This is messed up. This is dumb. He's kept you waiting a year and a half. This is burns. I think that you have done enough with trying to accommodate him. Yeah. So instead of us sitting out here all day, he can meet us somewhere where we're more comfortable. Why don't we just get back in the car? <sighs> this is crazy. I'm sorry. I know. You're always talking, but you're not playing. It doesn't match your face. Why don't we go? There's a spot we can hang out. We can have a snack. I can't believe this. No matter what happens, I think that you have learned a valuable lesson in yeah. never stalling your life or your dreams for anybody. Yeah. So let's hang out here for a bit, see if we hear back from Jaquan. All right, have a seat. Has he texted you? No. It's been two hours since you texted him that we were at the park. We waited there half an hour. Yeah. You send him a link to this place and just say, we're here. This is your last chance. Some days I built a metal. I can't be broken. But not when I'm with you. What are you thinking? And I'm super giving him benefit of doubt time and time and time and time. But nobody never thinks they would get like catfished or air. You know? They wouldn't really think. This will happen to them. I guess now we just wait. I need your help. My name is Mathan. I'm 22 years old, and I just moved to Los Angeles. This is about my best friend, Leah. She lives in Washington State, and I'm in love with her. Oh. You came to the right place, Mathan. All right, we're going to help you. I started talking to Leah back when I was 13. We went from chatting to texts to phone calls, from a few minutes to a few hours. We had an amazing connection. We really started to love each other and began talking about building a future. We even lightweight talked about marriage. I love that, lightweight. Lightweight, it's like low key. The problem is, Leah has always been kind of mysterious, like she's never telling me the whole story. She'll go in and out of my life for months on end. She always pops up again, but never explains what happened. She's in jail. <laughs> That's an option. She won't video chat with me either. Every time I ask, she makes an excuse or just ghosts me. 
we've heard this before. Yeah. And a couple of times we've tried to plan trips to see each other. Mm -hmm. She can only do it if I pay for everything. Uh oh. She's trying to get that coin. I know she's hiding something from me, and I wish I could move on, but I've never felt like this about anyone else. I, miss you. I really need your help, Nathan. Woo! It's been nine years. It's a great story, but I'm gonna need for Nathan to want a little bit better for himself than a girl that just keeps disappearing on him every well, five seconds. Well, he's tried, but he still can't let her go. Yeah. Let's call this guy, find out more. Oh. Hey. What's up, Nathan? How's it going? Hey, this is Cammy, by the way. Hi. Hello. She's gonna help us out. Cool, sounds good. I like your energy, man. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's a crazy story. Tell us everything. 22 years old, just moved to LA. Okay, so you just moved to LA. Yes. You're a handsome young man. Can't you find someone you'd be interested in here? Well, Leah, she's very special and unique. She means a lot to me. We've been talking for about like eight or nine years. She's always been there for me. Her humor would always bring my energy up when I was down. I felt like I connected with her in a way that I haven't been able to connect with any other girl that I've been talking to or dated. But you've dated other girls. I've had like a couple relationships, like not too many. When you have other girlfriends, do you and Leah still talk? Yeah, we still talk. She's helped with giving like advice through relationships. She knows like pretty much everything about me. What is her deal? Is she online? Is she on Instagram and Snapchat? Yeah, and... I have her on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snap. But have you I mean? seen her face and heard her voice in a video? Not in a video. No, we've never video chatted. Has I she ever posted a video or a Snapchat where she's talking to the camera? Or... No, never any videos, just pictures. But you've been talking to her for so long. You're 22. You don't need to be trying to cash out on some girl who can't even, like, video chat. Have you ever asked her, like, what the f is up, girl? For sure, many, many times. Like, sometimes she gives excuses, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, sometimes they don't make any sense at all. I still really want to see her really bad. I can't, like, just stop thinking about her and forget her. Like, it's not possible. Our relationship has been building for a long time. I want to make it happen, and I feel like the only way that could possibly happen is if you guys can help me out. You texted her, called her. We still haven't heard from her. We're here, we have an address. Let's just go over. All right. On the road again. It's just gonna be crazy seeing her for the first time. I'm nervous, <laughs> I'm super nervous. Yeah, I mean, we've never had a situation like this. We don't know what to expect. The fugitive boyfriend could come to the door. Yeah, I mean, this could get really ugly. The mobile home park. That's eight over there. I guess that's it. There are definitely lights on. Are we sure we're supposed to be here? I have no idea. Let's keep. Leave the car running. Yeah. So. This is so weird. Hello. Is there like another the entrance? Door? Oh, maybe this is where they go in. Let me try. He's coming, someone's coming. Oh, is coming? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're looking for Leo. No, you got the wrong girl. Okay, so you don't. No, no, a girl, a young girl named Leah. Leah Mayer? Oh, yeah, Mayer? I think we might just have the wrong address. Yeah, the wrong address. Okay, sorry to bother you. No problem. Yeah. What do we do next? Call her one more time. Please leave your message for. You want to look and see if she's posted lately? Maybe something? I don't know. Go to her timeline. Wait, wait. Hey, it's this one. 
call me. Who is this person, Jasmine? She might know Leah in person. Are you friends with that person? No. Maybe add them and see if we can call her. Let's go in the car. Yeah. It'll be quieter. Thank you. Does she have it where you can call her without being friends? Oh, actually, yes. No. Call her. Hello. Hi, is this Jasmine? Yeah, this is she. Hey, um, I'm Nathan. I'm one of Leah's like really uh, close friends, and I flew up here to come see her, and now she's just going ghost. If you have any way to contact her, can you just like let her know? Absolutely. Where she stays. I can reach out and see if she says anything. Do you know where she stays by any chance? Like, is she still in Everett? Yeah, she stays in Everett with her mom. I don't think she's be there right now. She actually has to be at the courthouse from like one to four, about the middle of the day, like every day for probation. So you might be able to catch her there. Which courthouse do you know? The one here in Everett. In Everett? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. There it is. It's already almost one. Do we want to do this? Do we want to just... it. What else are we going to do? I guess do? so. What else are we going to do? So apparently, she has to check in every day for like some sort of probation requirement. There it is, the municipal court. It's like it's a stakeout. Oh my god. I mean, we'll see her. If she comes, she's going to come right here. What time is it? 1.45. We didn't bring donuts. Why don't we call Jasmine and just see if she can tell us anything else? Maybe we can FaceTime her. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Hi. so I'm at the courthouse waiting for Leah right now. Um, oh, this is Nia with me. By the way, we're making an episode Hi. of Catfish. <laughs> In case you didn't know. <laughs> this is Cammy back here. Hi. <laughs> what else can you tell us about her? How do you know her? Leah's my sister. Wait, your actual sister? Yeah, we didn't grow up in the same house, but I was there every other weekend with dad, her, and her mom. What do you know about this guy, Darnell? No comment. <laughs> OK. All right. Well, all right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank nice you so much. You. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. It's like. Wow, that's wild, though. It's her sister, though. Total... That, that caught me yeah, That's her sister. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Courthouse, oh, there's the bell. It's officially 4.30, which means courthouse is closed. Which means if she hasn't shown up by now, she's not showing up. Well, they closed, they locked the door. I mean, that's it. Uh, we tried. I can't believe she didn't show up. We've got to find her. I mean, we always do. So you can try the sister again. Should we ask the sister about the house address? Yeah. Maybe she can help us figure out what the hell we should do next. Hello? Hey, it's Nathan. Have you talked to her lately? Yes. I'm at the house right now. Um, she's kind of touch and go. I'm trying to persuade her into meeting up. She might be into it. I'm trying as hard as I can. If I can get her wood, you guys want to meet up somewhere? Can we come by? <laughs> We're like downtown right now at the Vintage Cafe. Okay, I will try my best to get her out of the house. Thank you. Bye. I guess if sister's with her and thinks she can convince her to come, it's worth a try. Yeah. I think the issue is her boyfriend. I don't know if he knows about you or the show. She's probably talking to Leah, and Leah's being stubborn right now. This is the best chance we're going to get is her sister. She doesn't even need to answer any questions. Just show up. Anything would be better than nothing. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa. What? what? I'm coming around the block and going to pull up in about three minutes. OK. Who is? Jasmine? Well, Jasmine wrote that. Is this her here? Huh? Is that her? Man. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. Is that her? Hey. Hi. Hi. 
I'm Jasmine. How's it going? I'm so Nathan. good to meet you. Good to meet you too. I couldn't get her to come. She chose to stay there with her boyfriend. She thought that that was the right decision. So I'm sorry. Is she seeing all our messages? Is she just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she is. Um, it's, it's hard for her to leave and then have to go back. I think that's the... To so, explain it to him. Yeah, right. But, so, at the, so he just doesn't know anything. Oh, no, he knows. Oh, he does know. Yeah, he knows. Um, and he, does, he doesn't like it. I think it's a jealousy issue. So he doesn't want her to go. I don't know much about him. I've only met him a couple times. So I can't speak to his character. Mm -hmm. But, so I'm sorry. Thanks for trying. Yeah. I tr yeah, I did, yeah. I did. She wasn't budging. Well, I appreciate it. Nice to have met yeah. you. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks for coming. I guess that's it, unless there's any, I mean, do you have any other questions? I mean, because this is the closest you're yeah. going to get. If you want to know anything. I'm good. Yeah. All right. As her older sister, I am sorry on her behalf. Yeah. All right, well, it's cold yeah. and late. So why don't we all just call it? Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks, Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. After all these years, it's the first time we didn't get our girl. I'm sorry. I guess that's it. That's so up. So up. You can send her a message and say, like, look, we're here. We, we, we did everything we could. will be the last message I will ever send you. I want you to know that I am very, very upset and hurt about this whole situation and never been so disappointed in you in our entire friendship. You've made me promises, left me hanging, and lied to me multiple times, and I still forgave you, but this time I'm completely done for good. Please don't try to contact me after this message because I will not respond. Just know that I'll always love you and hope the best for you. It's really big of you. I think you're doing the right thing, Nathan. Always oh, tough to let go, though. Yeah. Ready to go home? Yeah, let's do it. 